Hey guys, Ron here, Best Tool Upgrades. We're having a big gun day, so to speak. Uh, I want to respond to some questions that we've gotten regarding the guns that we sell and what are Chinese knockoffs that some people are buying and then finding themselves having some real problems. So we're glad you're with us today. And uh, let's jump into our domestically produced guns and these cheap Chinese knockoffs that unfortunately some of you are buying and only finding later that they're not what you really were expecting to get. So these are our guns. They're made in the US. We know that for a fact because we know where they're distributed from and exactly who makes them. In a previous video, we actually sawed one of ours in half so that you could see how it functions and we compared it to the uh, triggered gun that comes with the Harbor Freight cabinet as you get it from the manufacturer. Also in a previous video we showed you how you can pull the uh, orifice out. We sell uh, different size orifices. We also sell the nozzles which go here in the front and there's an o-ring down in here that's very important. So why are we doing this? because we've had a bunch of our customers and other people who follow our channel say that they found what appeared to be the identical gun on Amazon and through other sources. They bought it only to find out that they were having some problems and they reached out to us to help them with those problems. So we saw some pictures of the Chinese guns. Some guys sent us some interesting pictures that showed a few issues. So what we decided to do was totally waste some money and we went out and we bought some Chinese guns. So we actually bought two of them. And here they are. And when you first look at them you go, hey these are pretty nice looking, they're essentially identical. They even have a little more polished surface so of course they're going to work better because they look nicer. Here's the problem. These are not well-made guns. So let's look at a couple of things. First of all, let's pull out the orifice part way. And what I want to show you is that the orifice is wiggling in there, which means that the threads that are bored, that are cut into the back of the casting, an aluminum casting, do not match well with the threads on the outside of the orifice. Here we're a little closer, you can see the wiggle. And actually, if we look at the other gun, it's even worse. This is unacceptable. You can't have that much slop. What it means is that that's only getting tight once this nut contacts the back of the gun and you're still going to get leakage through, through the threads. So let's compare that to our gun. We're going to turn that in a few turns. There's no wiggle back and forth. The threads match perfectly and when you seal it those threads are sealing much, much better. So here's the second area of poor thread machining. You can see that this fitting is wobbling in that gun and really only seals once you get the hex all the way down to the flat end of the handle of the gun. Here's our best tool upgrade gun and you can see that the threads are made with much greater precision and seal like pipe threads where there's an interference fit giving you a good solid seal without the need for any teff tape or anything like that. All right, so let's take the, the orifices out. We'll lay ours there. Here's that slop. Here's one of the two Chinese guns. We got these from two different sources. We have assumed two different manufacturers. 
What do you notice immediately? Well, our orifice has the proper sleeve. This orifice has the proper sleeve. This orifice came with no sleeve. Why is that a problem? Well, here's the problem. The sleeve is contributing to the airflow in the venturi area of the gun. If you're missing that sleeve, you're getting a different pattern of airflow right at the venturi, which is the critical juncture. In addition, media is moving up here, and this sleeve helps to protect the orifice from being abraded away by the movement of the media. You might never know that you're missing that sleeve, but one of the two Chinese guns was indeed missing it. That's a big problem. Okay, so let's, let's look at the nozzle end of these things. Let's pull the nozzle out. This gun has no O-ring. That O-ring is essential to seal the bottom of that nozzle. This gun did have the O-ring. So the one that had the O-ring was missing the sleeve. The one that didn't have the O-ring did have the sleeve. It seems like you get one, but you don't get both. But let me tell you, you absolutely need both. Now let's talk about the sizing of the nozzle and the orifice aperture, the ID inner diameter of both. Typically when you buy these Chinese guns, you get a choice of nozzle size. And they're typically sold in millimeters, four millimeter, five millimeter, six millimeter, eight millimeter, that's fine. What they don't tell you when you buy the Chinese guns is what size is the orifice. And by the way, you can't tell what size the orifice is by measuring across the aperture because the narrowest point of the orifice is actually down in here. So what you're getting is a mystery orifice that you do not know is sized well for your compressor specs or not. When you buy one of our guns with our kits, we tell you exactly what the diameter is in here, and we are matching that with the proper nozzle. We also can provide you with uh, orifices of different sizes so that you can go ahead, and let's say you start with a smaller compressor, you go to a bigger compressor, you want to have a bigger orifice because you can handle the higher output volumes of air, making the system more efficient. You'll never be able to get a replacement orifice for these Chinese guns. So let's go back to the cutaway of our gun to explain one other problem that's cropping up in some percentage of these Chinese guns. This should be a straight line. There should be a perfectly straight line in terms of the brass fitting, into the orifice, the bore of the orifice sitting dead center for the bore of the nozzle so that the air is going straight through in an absolute laser straight line. What customers of these Chinese import guns are finding is that the orifice is off in alignment with the opening at the back of the nozzle. So it is not a straight line. It means that this bore or this bore was cut improperly and they are out of alignment. That means that the airstream with the media is hitting the edge or the side of the nozzle and severely reducing the efficiency. Here are some pictures to show you what people have found and submitted in customer reviews of these Chinese guns. So in summary, these Chinese guns may look like an exact duplicate, but they are cheap knockoffs that suffer from parts being missing that you probably never know, unknown orifice size that may or may not match your uh, compressor specs, so that's just a crapshoot if you're getting the right size, poor machining of the threads, and possibly a very bad misalignment of the bore of the gun itself which is creating a tremendous inefficiency. So please folks, we recommend that you steer clear from these cheap knockoffs. So please visit our website, 
where you know you're getting high quality parts at the very best prices and that we stand behind what we sell. These may look like a great deal when they're available on Amazon, but we've had too many people have come to us and had to basically rebuy parts, rebuy these guns because of the poor quality of what's getting shipped in from offshore. We hope this uh, review of the uh, domestic uh, guns that we sell at Best uh, Tool Upgrades uh, and the direct comparison to these offshore guns has been helpful. We appreciate you viewing this video. Please like us and subscribe. Have a great day. Happy blasting.